Hi, this is Chuck Ledkowski, and welcome to the National Day of Hope, where we share hopeful and hope-filled encouragement. Today we're going to be listening and thinking about when we're too close to see it. I was listening to a friend complain bitterly the other day about all the pain, suffering in the world today, and then they went on to talk about the pain and suffering in their lives. With respect, I asked them, have they ever felt like they were too close to see what was really going on? Because sometimes when we're up close, when we're face to face with the pain and suffering, perhaps we're too close to see what's really behind it. I was reminded of this the other day as I was driving along a road, it's called the Scenic Highway, and I went by some construction and saw a few solar panels behind a high fence. When I looked at it, there were only a few of them, but there was a whole lot of fence, and I thought, boy, that's a lot of trouble and expense for just a handful of solar panels. But then I thought, maybe I'm not looking at everything that's involved. I didn't look at all that power or the importance of what was behind it. And so I wondered what really was behind these few panels. Was there something bigger that I couldn't see because I was just too close? Or maybe I was just moving too fast as I was driving by at 50 miles per hour to be able to see it all. So I decided to step back and try to see some more. And you'll never guess what. I came to find out that these few panels, which were all I could see, was part of a 600 acre solar farm that was under construction. When fully operational, it will generate almost 75 megawatts of electricity, which can provide power for over 11,000 homes. And just by putting some distance between what I could see from the street where I live and a higher level of the overall end game, I began to see some connection and to start some understanding and appreciation for what's going on. Perspective can be everything. Perspective can mean everything. But not only with the solar panel, there's more. Not only was the solar panels there in the fence, there was more than just one solar panel on that farm. There was a whole bunch of stuff behind it. There was technology and equipment that brought together everything through a substation because it was for a bigger purpose than what I could see while driving by at street level, while I was whisking by at 50 miles an hour. And even there was more behind that. Behind that, there were those long distance transmission lines that needed to be installed and tested. When I drove by, all I could see was right what was in front of me. But there was lots and lots of stuff going on behind the scenes where I couldn't see. What I saw was only a small part of something much bigger than I could ever imagine. And that made me think about my friend. Maybe that's how they felt. Maybe that's how you feel. You're all alone facing nothing but a high strong wall that you can't get through and you can't overcome. You feel hopeless. You feel helpless. And rather than continue to feel and react the same way we've been going along all our life, maybe it's time to shift our weight and look towards God. Instead of facing and focusing on the problem and pain that's right there in front of us, isn't it time to turn to God, to get his perspective, listen to his promise, but now, thus says the Lord, he who created you, he who formed you, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. 
even with all the pain and confusion in our lives and in this world, God still calls out to us. Look at all the times he calls you. He created you. He formed you. I have redeemed you. And it's not that I might redeem, but it's already done. I have called you. Again, I might, it's not that I might call you, but that I have already called you. And you are mine. Not that you might be mine, or you'll be mine if you clean up your act, or you'll be mine if you jump through these hoops, or you'll be mine if you do certain things. Because in and through Jesus, God has already done all these things. The question is whether we've received what he's already done. It's there for the receiving. It's time for us to receive him today. To take a step back and not be so upfront and look at it closely. To look at what's going on from God's eternal perspective to give us peace. If this has been an encouragement for you or you have questions, please go to www.nationaldayofhope.net. You can also ask for more information and hope-filled messages of encouragement email us at info at nationaldayofhope.net. Thank you.